Hello everyone. Well, we all know about Yanagizawa soprano saxophones. They are simply brilliant. So are they taking a little bit of a risk by redesigning their soprano range? Well, in line with what's happened with the alto and the tenor, as in the WO range coming in there, I suppose it was inevitable that the soprano would be next in the queue. However, I would assert that perhaps this is a little bit more of a risk, a little bit more at stake with the sopranos as they were so good before. So what have Yanagizawa done? So other than some subtle uh, redesigning of some of the mechanics on the instrument, including a, a redesigned and reshaped uh, front F key here, um, a slight changing of the shape of this lower C key, and some slightly redesigned um, positioning and um, features on these right hand um, keys here. The main game changer, if you like, is what they've done with the bore. There's been a re-engineering of the bore shape and a re-engineering of some of the tone halls, I believe. And this is what's really going to truly affect the playability and the sound of the instrument, which is what counts after all. Just like in the alto and tenor ranges, Yanagazara are trying to go for a bit more of a focus and a slightly darker sound with a bit more of an obvious core to it. Now I'm just going to break down the main models for you here in the soprano range. So the, the four key models in the range are the SW01, the SW02, the SW10 and the SW20. Now the 1 and 2 firstly are the, the lower series, the entry level professional models if you like. They are fixed neck models and they're made from brass and bronze respectively, while the 10 and 20 are twin neck models also made from brass and bronze respectively. Now it's worth saying that Yanagazawa have inserted this extra little neck support on the upper series, that's the 10 and the 20, um, giving you a little bit more resonance and some support in this area which is sort of well known for having a little nodal weakness if you like. And I'm actually holding here the SWO20 saxophone so we can see this little support on the top of this, uh, this curved neck here, as it is a twin neck model, and you'll see the same support on the other neck option that you get with the saxophone. So a few additional features that we have on the upper models. We've also got metal pad reflectors, um, we've got a high G key here which we don't have on the lower models, and we've just got a slightly more involved and beautiful engraving here. So I'm now going to play you um, a clip of music on the SW01, which is of course the brass model, and then I'm going to finish with a clip of music on this one here, which is the bronze SWO20, and you can see if you can spot those tonal differences between the two. But personally, I think Yanagazawa have done an incredible job with these instruments. The sound is really impressively focused and responsive throughout. You can really hear that darker core, and it's very easier to sort of saunter around in the lower reaches without any response issues at all. And I feel that on the bronze sax in particular, the sound can be really kind of sweet and introverted where necessary. And you can really open out the sound and, and really push the sound out there at the same time. So a really lovely sort of flexible um, sounding saxophone this one is. Um, so I hope you enjoy what I've got to play. Thanks very much.